Hi there! Some time ago I made a video about what makes us attractive or ugly. Upon which someone asked me in the comments whether I could make a video about how to get a more symmetrical face because, as you might remember, symmetrical faces tend to be more attractive. So I did my research and I really didn't find a lot. I'm going to share some little bits of advice that I found at the end of the video, but that's not the main focus of this video. In this video, I wanted to fact check something which seems to be relatively popular on YouTube. Facial symmetry exercises and somewhat related to that, mewing. I assume that the name facial symmetry exercises speaks for itself, but what is mewing? Mewing is a social media trend invented and promoted by orthodontist John Mew and his son Michael Mew. It's some kind of DIY facial training-ish thing that can be used, for example, to improve your looks. When talking about stuff like facial symmetry exercises, his dream is probably the biggest YouTube channel related to this topic, getting thousands and even millions of views. And I was curious whether this actually worked, because his thumbnails are clearly photoshopped and he doesn't mention any references. The YouTuber way of fact checking this would be to try the exercises myself for a period of a month or longer. However, then the results would just be up to my own perception, which is unfair since I don't believe it will work, and I'm too lazy to try it. So I decided to do what I do best. Looking for papers. Let's start with regular facial symmetry exercises. Google Scholar didn't find anything about facial symmetry exercises except for some papers about facial symmetry exercises for people with Bell's palsy. Personally, I didn't know what Bell's palsy was, so I used Wikipedia and it turns out that Bell's palsy is a type of temporary paralysis that affects one side of your face. It affects 4 to 6 per 10,000 people and the causes are unknown. Apparently, it just randomly appears. Needless to say, the exercises for people with Bell's palsy are meant to reactivate your muscles, not to make your face more symmetrical, so these studies aren't relevant. After some extra research, I did find one meta-analysis about facial exercises to make your face look younger, more attractive and more symmetrical. A meta-analysis is a research paper that combines the results of existing papers and tries to draw a conclusion from this information. When you're doing a literature study, meta-analyses are a goldmine. The researchers normally use the most well-known science databases to find the right papers for their analysis, but in this case they initially didn't find any papers at all. So they decided to also include two South American databases and eventually they found nine papers. Three of these studies were merely case reports. Three other studies were a series of case reports with three or four patients. And the remaining studies had 11, 10 and 8 participants, bringing the total amount of participants to 43. That's not enough. When doing a study with such low amounts of participants, the differences in outcome might just be coincidental. Perhaps if you grab 43 other persons, the outcome will be completely different. And that's why most research studies, for example for the COVID vaccine, include hundreds or even thousands of people. All these studies in the meta-analysis claimed that the facial symmetry exercises worked. However, in all but one studies, the assessment was done by the doctors who prescribed the exercises and sometimes even by the patients themselves instead of unbiased judges. On top of that, all studies, except for the one study with the unbiased judges, used different combinations of exercises. 
and this makes it hard for us to decide whether all exercises have an effect or whether it's just one exercise in particular. So we have one proper study that is somewhat properly executed and their results showed that 45 to 100% of the unbiased judges said that the person looked younger on the picture taken after therapy. The question remains, however, whether we can be sure that the eight participants in the after therapy pictures weren't influenced by a placebo effect. Because as they had received a treatment, they may have felt more confident, which made them appear more attractive. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really trust these studies. My research about mewing which is officially called orthotropics, didn't really return any studies either. I did learn that John Mew lost his license from the General Dentist Council and that Michael was expelled from the British Orthodontic Society because they promoted their IDs without having actual evidence to back it up. And they did show some pictures of past patients but merely pictures aren't good enough as they really depend on the lighting, the pose and the camera. And people change over time, we grow up, work out, we perhaps go on a diet, so we really need hard numbers, perhaps several hundreds of people that show improvements by objective measures. But no one has ever written such a paper. Worth noting is that one article stated that mewing was initially used for children instead of adults, despite the fact that it's actively promoted on social media meant for adults. And if it would potentially work, it would probably take years to make it really visible instead of merely weeks like some people, some influencers, some YouTubers claim. In conclusion, if you really want to use these techniques to improve your face, be my guest. It won't kill you. And there is no evidence that it doesn't work, but the evidence that it does work is also negligible. We just don't know. So don't let a YouTuber or an influencer with great looks, a nice smile and a placebo effect fool you. At this point, you might be asking yourself, do you have some advice that I actually can use? And here's some cool stuff that you should know. Symmetrical differences are more visible around the eyes and the nose because they're closer together. So if your ears aren't that symmetrical, don't worry, it's not likely that people will notice. And if your face isn't very symmetrical in general, don't take any frontal pictures because it will only make the asymmetry visible. Let's take for example a look at Paul Walker. He was a handsome guy, no? Well, here's a frontal picture of him. His face isn't symmetrical, but I bet you didn't notice until now because you never saw him like that. And if you're wearing glasses, great. One study found that wearing glasses makes your face look more symmetrical because they take the attention away from the specific features of your face and they make you look more intelligent. However, they don't per se make you more attractive. That depends mostly on the frames of your glasses. So choose the right frames for your glasses. And that, my friends, is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press the like button, press the subscribe button, and of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive a notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.